Hi everybody, this is Gary Dean with Sentiment Timing and this is our free technical video report for Monday, May 20th, 2019. So uh, markets have been kind of jittery lately, uh, kind of fits the profile. And really what we're looking for right now uh, with the predictive analytics model is that uh, it, we're not really going to get that huge move down yet. That's going to be coming into uh, when we get the black hole or the... Uh, kill zone time period so there's time on that this is the types of move that we're anticipating um, right now we still have a little bit of time left so we're kind of open-minded and neutral on the market and with the predictive analytics model right now time wise we have you know a little more time before we get into that kill zone or possibly even the black hole uh, sentiment is really been kind of neutral nothing's really been happening we've had uh, somewhere in the, the, the mid to low uh, sentiment readings over the past few days so things have definitely died down a little bit from the extreme bullish sentiment readings and then once we got the one percent sentiment reading that did kind of mark the low or we we made the low fairly uh, right after that and technicals i'll give you where we are as far as support and resistance but from a sentiment sentiment barometer we were at the euphoria when we were at the top right now we're kind of in in this uh, hope and belief they're not really there yet because we haven't been able to break above that 2892 once that happens that's when I believe this is going to start shooting back up into this area here and that's most likely going to be running right into the into the kill zone time period so on a intermediate term I, I we were close to here so this is what makes things a little bit difficult is we may have hit the euphoria part and now we're kind of in this area but really the main thing is that the the extreme bullish sentiment reading has been coming down we're starting to see more and more people a little more bearish on the market and we're still believing that once we head into that kill zone we're going to get that massive massive move uh, to the downside and and you can see here how everybody got bearish at the tops even when we were in this area here and it took over a month before we topped we really just went sideways but once we got the quick drop you can see we got the one percent bullish sentiment reading and then we started heading higher so right now we want to just keep an eye on things and uh, see where they play out and like I said we're open-minded because we still have a third of a position short from the 2942 and right now we're just going to let things play out it would the preferred roadmap that we would like is that actually the market would head higher and i'll show you the patterns that are in play so right now we still have not made a trade with this uh the 100 point s p guarantee you will know once we did because we're going to go dark at, meaning that you're not going to get these nightly updates all the time and what's going to happen is we're going to be just too close into the kill zone time period as well as what the possible black hole is and we're we're not going to give that away when we we have our members that are that are paying us on a monthly fee so i'm going to try to keep things going with it as long as we can but once we get into that period and once we start getting signals for the bigger move to start uh, you're going to be getting updates, but maybe once a week towards the middle of the week, and we really can't give all that much away. So uh, it's still in play if you guys are interested. Th those are the programs that are there. So this is the inverted head and shoulders I've been following. There is no guarantee this is going to play out or not. Right now, the bulls are going to have to hold this 28.26. Really, more importantly, is going to be the 28.15. If they lose that, then most likely we're taking these lows out. On the upside, the first resistance zone that the bulls need to get through they need to push it through 2861 if they do that this should be a magnet and if they get above that that's when I believe that these uh, these gaps will get filled and that's going to be heading into the the kill zone and possibly a black hole now really the 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 crazy thing about this is that even though that this was the time period that we were looking you can see that things have gotten very it, antsy let's say is probably the best word so this may have started a little bit early uh, it was always in the spring but then as we had the the markets that were were pretty strong we we moved it to the uh, woody moved it to the june but that that was in april that we did that it, it wasn't any specific date so maybe the the top most likely is in and we're just going to come up and this would lure people up or we're going to come down and, and if it goes down the next spot that really if the bulls lose these uh the the 2802 
lows, then we're probably coming down to the 2785. If they lose that, then we have a shot of coming down to the to close the gap at the the 2746. And and this was always our target too from the top up here, 2722. It just wasn't sure if the if the bears were going to have enough time. But we're we're open minded with it, and that's why you just hold on to the. To, to a third of a short we closed the majority of, of well two-thirds of it in this area here so we're, we're still ahead of the game on that and and if it does play out where this inverted head and shoulders then we're going to get stopped out and all we're going to be doing is looking to short as we run into the kill zone so volatility is going to stay here it's not going anywhere uh don't think you can assume anything that i'm saying in the free videos the premium members get totally different reports with dates and a lot of other information so with that have a great night and i'll talk to you guys at our next update